Hello children and welcome to our special English hour. I hope you all are doing fine. Today we will learn new things and have fun while doing it. Let's get started. Children, in our previous session, I taught you a new tongue twister. Do you remember that tongue twister? Let me refresh your memory. The tongue twister was Fred fed Ted bread. Do you remember it now? Now, let's try to say it faster. If you all remember correctly, in the previous session, I tried saying it faster, but I could not. I think I will give one more try. Are you all ready? Come on. Fred fed Ted bread. 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 Wow! I was able to say it faster five times. Were you? If not, try saying this faster five times and teach this tongue twister to your friends. You will enjoy it more. Wasn't it a fun tongue twister? Now, let's do a fun activity. In this activity, you will see two columns on your screen. What you need to do is match column A with column B. Column A will have names of fabric and column B will have names of Indian states. What we need to do is match the name of the fabric to the name of the state where it belongs. Sounds a bit confusing. I will give you an example. For example, if the name of the fabric is Kullu shawls, it will be matched with the state Himachal Pradesh because Himachal Pradesh is famous for its shawls. Now does it simplify things? Let's try to solve this activity. Now, let's see the place of origin for different types of cloth. The first state that we have is Gujarat. Do you know the fabric that is very famous from Gujarat? It is Bandhani. Next, the state is Maharashtra. Maharashtra is very famous for its Paithani saris. Now, the next state that we have is Tamil Nadu. Do you know what is very famous from Tamil Nadu? It is Kanjivaram silk. We now move to Madhya Pradesh. Madhya Pradesh is very famous for its Chanderi silk. We have finally Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh is very famous for its chicken curry work. Were you able to guess all these answers? I hope you were. It is very important to learn new words in order to learn any language. So today, let's learn some new words from the story that we are going to read today. I would request you to please make a note of these words in your notebook. Arrogant 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 Karan was 
a very nice student but he was very arrogant agitated 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 my brother was agitated because i broke his toy ignorant 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 my niece is very ignorant impatient 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 we should never be impatient worthless 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 friendship is worthless if there is no loyalty so children today we learnt five new words let's revise them once again arrogant agitated ignorant impatient and worthless i hope you remember these words children now it's time for us to read a story this story is from bal bharti textbook so i request you to please open page number 24 of your textbook the name of the story is the worth of a fabric i will be reading this story and i want you to point at the words as i read them and if you don't have a textbook listen to me carefully thiruvallur was a great tamil saint poet who lived more than 2000 years ago thirukkural is the book of his teachings it is greatly loved and respected even today this story is about a tamil saint poet his name was thiru vallavur he was a great man he used to weave on fabrics and different types of clothes he used to weave sarees and sell them he was very humble and everyone liked him thiruvallur was a textile weaver he wove beautiful fabrics and sarees and sold them in the market people said that he never got angry never used bad words never shouted at anyone thiruvallavur was a very humble man he used to never get angry at anyone in the same town lived a very rich young man he used to always roam about in the town he and his friends used to make fun of other people and that was all they did the young man thought that thiruvallavur was not someone as he portrayed himself one day he decided that he will make him angry so this young man and his friends start making a plan as to how they can make thiruvallavur angry in the same town there lived a rich young man he wasted most of his time roaming around with his friends they often made fun of other people 
I don't believe what people say about this valluvar, said the young man one day. I'm sure I can make him angry. Come on, let's have some fun today. One day, the young man goes to the market and he comes across Thiruvallavur. So, the arrogant young man approached Thiruvallavur in the market and picked up a beautiful piece of fabric. How much does this whole fabric cost? He asked. Eight coins. The saint named the price. He approaches him and picks up a piece of cloth. He shows this piece of cloth to Thiruvallavur and asks him, How much does this cost? Thiruvallavur says that it will cost 8 rupees. The young man unfolded the fabric and tore it into two. What's the price of this piece now? Now, the young man tears the piece and asks him, Now tell me, how much will this cost? Thiruvallavur says that it will cost 8 rupees. Four coins. The saint answered politely. The youth was taken aback. Why doesn't the man get angry? He thought. He then tore the half pieces into half again. Now the young man tears the piece and asks him, Now tell me, how much will this cost? Thiruvallavur politely replies, 4 rupees. The young man is confused. He doesn't know why is Thiruvallavur being so patient. Why is he not getting angry? So now the young man tears the half into more half. And he asks Thiruvallavur the price of the cloth again. And Thiruvallavur patiently says 2 rupees. And now... Two coins was the answer. Now, it was the young man who became impatient and agitated. He tore the pieces into half again and again saying, And now, what's the price now? The young man wanted to make Thiruvallavur angry. But instead, he becomes angry and he keeps on tearing the piece of cloth. But Thiruvallavur does not lose his calm. Every time the young man asks the price of the cloth, Thiruvallavur politely gives him a reply. Thiruvallavur calmly went on reducing the price to half every time. At last, the fabric was reduced to rags. So, Thiruvallavur said in a quiet tone, Now, this fabric has become worthless. I will not name any price for these rags. The young man did not know what to say. But he was proud of his riches. So, he offered to pay eight coins to the saint. For the first time, Thiruvallavur smiled, but he refused to take the money. Young man, now this fabric is of no use. It has become worthless. Why? Because no one will be able to wear it now. The young man 
went on tearing the cloth. But Thiruvallavur kept on calmly replying. Finally, the entire piece of cloth was in shreds. This time, Thiruvallavur said that now this piece of cloth is worthless. And I will not put any price to it. Do you think the young man would stop there? No, he was very arrogant and he was very proud of his wealth. So, he decided to give 8 coins to Thiruvallavur. Now, for the first time, Thiruvallavur smiles and he tells the young man that I will not take any money for these shreds of cloth. Why? Because it is worthless, which means that nobody will be able to use this cloth. So, I will not accept any money for this cloth. Do you know the fabric was not made in a day? Many people have toiled to make it. The farmer who grew cotton in his field worked hard for months through sun and rain. He picked cotton from each ball and gave it spinning. Then someone else carded the cotton and spun it into long uniform threads. The threads were dyed carefully so that they took on these lovely colors. My wife and I wove the threads together putting in beautiful designs. We thought someday someone will like this fabric, will be happy to wear it. Then. All our work would be rewarded. When you destroyed the fabric, you destroyed and labor that went into its making. Money cannot bring it back. The softly spoken words touched the young man's heart. Now he was really ashamed of himself. And do you know, Thiruvallavur went on to say, I can weave another fabric like this, but our life is also like this fabric. If you tear it apart with hasty, thoughtless actions, it will be destroyed. And you will not get it back again. Thiruvallavur's words opened the young man's eyes. There and then he decided to give up his idleness and bad habits. Now Thiruvallavur explains how difficult it is to make a cloth. He talks about how a farmer makes the crop of cotton. Then it is spun into a thread. After which Thiruvallavur and his wife weave it on a cloth. And later it is sold in the market. There is a lot of hard work that is put in this entire process. But now it is completely worthless because this is of no use to anyone. The amount of hard work and the heart that is put out in this work has been shredded to pieces of cloth, which is why it is completely worthless. When the young man heard Thiruvallavur's words, he was very touched. He was ashamed of his actions. 
and he realized what fool he was thiruvallavur did not stop there he had a very important advice for the young man he told the young man that he can weave another cloth like this but our life is just like a piece of cloth if we act without thinking it can tear into small shreds or pieces when the young man heard this message he was touched this line impacted him so much that he decided to give up his idleness and work hard and do better now children can you all tell me what did we learn from this story this story taught us many things number 1 being humble number 2 being polite number 3 being passionate about our work and number 4 being thoughtful in our actions this story had a very strong message and i hope that you like this story children do you know what a word chain is a word chain is when you write words associated with only one word sounds confusing let me clarify it for you for example if the word is school i will have to write down words that come to my mind when i think of the word school are pen pencil bag students teachers notebooks blackboard and a lot more words so just like that you create a word chain now our activity will also be similar you will see a few words on your screens these words are objects or people or things from the lesson that we learned today what you need to do is write down words associated with these things sounds easy let's give it a try children were you able to create word chain for the following words let's have a look the first thing is thiru valluvar now there is a lot of information about thiru valluvar thiru valluvar was a great saint poet he was loved and respected for his great teachings he never got angry never used bad words he was calm and polite next we have the rich young man the rich young man wasted his time by roaming around with friends he used to make fun of others he was arrogant while talking to thiruvalluvar in the end he gave up his idleness and bad habits the last one is the fabric woven by thiruvalluvar this fabric was made with hard work of weavers and farmers it had beautiful colors so children this was the word chain that i created for the following characters or things 
I hope you were also able to do it. Now for homework I have a very interesting activity. With the help of your family members try to learn the different types of fabrics that are available and try to cut small pieces of each of this type of fabric and paste it in your notebook. After that don't forget to label them correctly. Children, I hope you had fun in today's session and you learned something new. I will see you in our next session. Until then, take care and stay safe. Bye.